Welcome back. In this video, we'll be assembling frames seven and eight. And we really want to focus on this floor batten, which has to be assembled in epoxy at the time of frame assembly. So let's get right to it. As with the previous frames, we align the frame components to the frame construction board. But this time, we put the floor batten underneath the frame so we can mark where we need to cut it. Align the top edge of the floor batten to the chine filler, then mark the cutting line with a pen. We then cut and sand the floor batten to ensure a proper fit. This was an iterative process, but here I show it in one step. I'll show one more tip on how to ensure the strong back legs are properly aligned to the frame construction board, starting at eight minutes and 37 seconds into this video but the remaining frame assembly is very similar to prior frames. We first dry fit the gussets with screws. Notice that there are no screws going into the floor battens. Therefore, we're gonna have to clamp them in place while the epoxy cures at a later stage. In hindsight, I could have simply added an additional screw connecting the floor batten to the gusset. To save time, I'm not showing each of the screws being put into the gussets, but it's the same number as the previous frames. Epoxy each of the mating surfaces, first with unfilled epoxy, and then with thickened epoxy. With so many parts, it's important to think ahead to bring all the parts together perpendicularly so you do not wipe off the epoxy. And then we permanently attach with silicon bronze screws. This next step is optional, but I chose to lift the frame off of the frame construction board so I could use clamps to hold the floor batten to the bonded frame. The 
plastic film is just used to ensure that the clamps do not get permanently bonded to the frame. I left the epoxy to cure overnight before removing the clamps. I flip the frame over and sand it off the excess epoxy. I drill holes back through the buffets to ensure we can align to the final construction board. I dry fit the bulkhead. and permanently attach the shear gussets. Mark and cut the temporary cross member. Attach the cross member and the strong back legs with screws. After the strong back legs are attached, mark the water lines on each leg and the center line of the frame. On frame eight, I mistakenly align the strong back legs to hole four rather than the strong back hole. To avoid this mistake in the future, I put a piece of blue masking tape over hole four Frames 7 and 8 are very similar, therefore I strongly recommend that you label each frame when completed. With frames 7 and 8 complete, all that's left is editing the video. Coincidentally, Napoli won the Italian Football Championship. In Milan, we celebrated the completion of frames 7 and 8 together. Till next time, ciao.